just the, the, the truth of born a crime, that's actually the way it was. If you right. had one ounce of black blood in the South, then you were described as being African American, which is really strange because I think that my great great grandmother was what we called a mulatto, a person that had both black blood and white blood. Right. So really, in a weird sort of way, this blonde haired, blue eyed person may be considered black in the South, even maybe even today. Because of that one drop rule. Because of that one drop rule, which is insane, and you write about that in your book as well. Right. And, and how that was irrational it all is. Right. And that was something that determined how people lived their lives. And, and the Confederacy 